So this is the sub xiphoid view for cardiac ultrasound. So in this view, we're actually going to have the patient supine. The legs are going to be bent to kind of release their abdominal muscles and relax it. The indicator probe is going to be, it's a phase array transducer, and the indicator is going to be towards the patient's left side when you're in cardiac mode. And in order to perform this scan, you really want to start on the patient's right side. You're going to identify the liver because you have to go through liver in order to identify the heart. You don't want to go through stomach because there's a lot of air, it'll create a lot of artifacts, and you can't really see the, the heart. So here, some, what sometimes we'll do is we'll ultrasound the liver first, you can identify that, and then sweep in to the heart itself. And here the heart's coming in here. I'm going to adjust my depth, and a lot of times you have to increase your depth for this scan. And we'll have the patient take a big breath in, and that brings the heart even closer to the ultrasound probe, giving us a better view. Okay, you can breathe out. All right, take another big breath in and hold it. All right, so as the patient inspires, you can see the four chambers of the heart, the right ventricle, left ventricle, right atrium, left atrium, as well as the tricuspid and mitral valves. This view, you can also see the pericardium and is also a great view to look for pericardial effusion and tamponade, as well as comparison of the ventricular sizes. You can breathe out now. 